My name is Yuji Abe, and I'm the battle director for Final Fantasy XIII. Time to end it! The two key words that really became the concept for Final Fantasy XIII's battle system were speedy and tactical, and that was at the base of the concept when we first started creating the battle system for this game. And we always had some form of the paradigm system as part of the system from the get-go. So in creating this system and fine-tuning it, we found that keeping the command-based system and the micromanaging of the different characters and also trying to work with the paradigm system at the same time would create too much of a workload. It was too much for a player to take in during battle. So in order to let the game's battle system evolve and take in the new and tone down the traditional elements a little bit, the paradigm system became the stronger strategic element within the battle system. And that's basically how we came about with the current style of battle system. There are six different roles available in the game and you can assign these different roles to each character and also create decks of your own with combinations of these different roles and what that does is that players are able to change their strategy um, real time in battle so instead of focusing on you know, single commands and inputting them one by one for each character players really look at the overall flow of the battle and change the tide of battle that way depending on how enemies are reacting and things like that. The auto battle system was implemented because we wanted players to be able to focus on the paradigm system if need be. Um, of course you can input individual commands for the characters if you would like, but if you choose to use the auto battle system, what that'll do is just like the AI characters have specific movements and different actions that they'll do on their own, the auto battle will give your player character AI-like properties in executing their commands. And this way we felt since micromanaging the commands and trying to take care of the paradigm system might be a little overwhelming for some players, we felt it would be a necessary option for as many players to be able to enjoy this system. Odin. Leveling and jobs in the traditional sense don't exist in Final Fantasy XIII. What will be closest to the job system will be the roles that were mentioned earlier that are used for the paradigm system. And um, as far as levels go, it's it's more of a development of parameters for each character. So it's it's very different from what Final Fantasy fans may know from the, the traditional series. For the summoning system, the main concept that we had when we first started planning the system out was that we wanted it to be sort of a combination act between the characters and the summon, and, and thus the, the one summon per character. Good night, sunshine. Let me in on the fun. In portraying this unity between the character and the summon, um, we arrived at the summons transforming into rides for the characters, which is the Gestalt mode. So that's how that came about. The way that players would probably be using summons most in battle would be in times of dire need when they need to really turn the tide in battle, something that might be equivalent to in shooting games the bomb. That's basically how summons could be utilized most effectively in battle. Shred em. An effective way to use the paradigm system is instead of shifting it too often, if you change every like 10-15 seconds or so, um, this is a good pace to switch the paradigms and um, if you keep this pace, it becomes easier for the ATV gauge to fill up so characters can go into certain actions right when they switch because the ATV gauge will be ready for the shift.
There is not really any previous Final Fantasy game that affected the battle system for Final Fantasy 13. This is something completely new and even if other team members are like, well, don't you need to keep this a certain way in keeping with the Final Fantasy system, I simply told them this is a completely different and new system, so we're going to go with a new direction. Uh, I hope that players are able to experience this battle system and really find enjoyment in customizing their own strategy for battle and really seeing the effects of that directly reflected in the battle results. I think that'll be something that'll be very exciting for fans.